another of the frequently asked questions that I've been receiving, not only about my regulators, but other regulators on the market and FT guns fitted from new with regulators, is why when you've initially filled it up from a low pressure, is the first one or two shots either lower or higher than the rest of the shot string that you attain after that. How long do you take to top up your air rifle? Do you blast it full of air or do you take a few seconds to get it up to pressure? When you first install the regulator into your rifle, if you've got it set at maximum working pressure, as you slowly fill the gun up, the piston moves back towards the seat up to about nine millimeters of travel and then it sits on the seat and blocks the airflow now this re reciprocates back and forward when you're firing the gun but once you get below the regulator's set pressure this will gradually open up again so when you fill the gun back up with air obviously it will slowly go back to the seat some of you may get quite a number of shots out of the gun once the regulator has gone past its set working pressure and so end up with quite a gap before you refill when you do refill as we've seen a few moments ago you fill the gun up quite slowly and so the piston will move back quite slowly before it settles on its seat uh, in reality, when you're actually using the rifle, every time you fire a shot, the piston only moves a small amount. Uh, the most it would move, I've calculated to be about 1.4 millimetres. But generally, it probably only moves about 0.8 of a millimetre. And it does this 0.8 of a millimetre open and 0.8 of a millimetre shut in literally about a millionth of a second. Uh, if the air is travelling at 1400 feet per second and this piston is only moving 0.8 of a millimetre open and 0.8 of a millimetre closed you can only but imagine that this takes an absolutely minuscule amount of time when you're using the gun every time you fire a shot you probably haven't realised but the piston doesn't go open, shut, open, shut it does only open a teeny amount very 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 quickly now what's important for you to remember is if you wave your hand around in the air in front of you you can feel the air on your skin like if you put your hand out the side of the car window and let the air catch it it tries to blow your hand up and down although air isn't as thick as water when you've got your air gun filled up to 232 bar the weight of it is quarter the weight of, of the same amount of water and so it acts more like a, a fluid and you may have watched documentaries where they talk about uh, fluid, fluid dynamics and so when this is open and you slowly fill your air rifle up with air and the piston moves back to the seat slowly the air is acting in a completely different uh, manner to when you fire the gun and it just opens and shuts opens and shuts in a microsecond uh, and it's these changes in the distance that the piston moves and the speed that it's doing at that allows a very slightly different air pressure through the regulator when you refill the rifle on some regulators this may cause the pressure to be very slightly higher and on some regulators it may cause the pressure to be very slightly lower uh, but once you've fired the first couple of shots after refilling it settles down into its rhythm and the power curve will be flat uh, also you can check this by if you get 80 shots from your rifle but you only use 40 of them and then you refill the gun you shouldn't really notice any any movement in your power curve it is just really uh, when you when you've let it drop below working pressure and the gap between the, the piston end and the pressure adjuster seat 
has become quite wide. Something else that you have to take into account is weather conditions when you were last shooting your air rifle. Uh, if you've not gone below the regulator cutout pressure, but last time you were shooting it, it was outside on a red hot summer's day uh, where the action's got that hot, touching it burns your fingers, and then you bring it home and it sits in the back of the car on the drive and it all cools down. And like this bottle, the air in the regulator and the cylinders contracted somewhat, then the regulator will open a little bit, let a bit of the air through, and then next time you go out if it's another scorching hot day and your rifle's warmed up in the back of the car before you've got to your FT shoot or your hunting ground uh, the pressure in the regulator is going to rise and so the first shot or two shots will start off uh, at the start of the day at a higher or lower pressure than what they would have otherwise been and once the cylinder and the regulator has settled down to the to the temperature then everything will give you a flat power curve again also once the regulator has been stood for a week or two and the good hasn't been used the o-rings deform and fix in a set place uh, the grease that's in there or lubricant if the rifle stored with the butt down like most are will weld towards the piston and so until the gun's been fired a couple of times everything sort of becomes settled in one place so like pushing this piston in, in here now back to front initially you use quite a lot of force to get it on the move and then all of a sudden once it goes it gibs and it starts to move and then after that pushing it backwards and forwards is quite easily where if you get it settled in one place and make sure that it's all wiggled in and set in one place it then takes quite a bit of force again to start it moving until it actually goes and then it starts to get on the move once more and it's exactly the same once your regulator has been sat and not used for a period of time you have to fire one or two shots to get everything moving get the lubricant moved about inside the chamber and everything settles down to give a flat curve it doesn't matter what make or manufacturer of regulator you've got they they all benefit from being fired once or twice before you take them out on the range